Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In today's video, we'll be discussing one of the most important topic in terms of ML Ops role or machine learning role. So, what we'll do is in this video, we'll try to set up ML Flow and we'll try to register a model to ML Flow registry and we'll look at how to uh, manage those experiments. Okay. So, with that, what we'll do is we'll get started. So, the first step is uh, as part of this video, what we'll do is we'll create virtual environment and install our MLflow package there and then we'll try to run the MLflow server and once that is done, we'll be what creating an experiment and we'll try to register the model into that uh, MLflow registry. So with that, what I'll do is, uh, so first step is to have a package such that you can what create a virtual environment. For that, you need Python 3 VNB. Okay. So if you are using Linux machine, right, this is one of, I'm currently using Ubuntu. So you can use this particular uh, command in your terminal to install Python 3 VNB, which will help you to create virtual environment. So what I'll do now next is I'll go to Visual Studio and then I'll run this command. Okay. Python 3 hyphen M uh, VNB and ML ops. So what I, what I want to what say before that is I have already created a virtual environment. ML ops. So if I do this, it will look, it is already present and it won't create. And next, what we'll do is we'll switch to the particular virtual environment using source ML ops will activate. So now I am under this particular environment. Now what we'll do is we'll try to uh, install the package called install ML flow. So it has already been, uh, in, uh, what you call installed. And since it is installed, it doesn't take much time. Okay, if you are doing it for the first time, it may take a lot of time. Okay, since it has a lot of dependencies. So once that is done, what we'll do is, now we'll try to run the uh, server, MLflow server. So for that, we have to do MLflow server. Let me go back to this notebook here in this particular document and we'll see MLflow server hyphen host, hyphen hyphen host. I want to run it on 127.0.0.1 and then port is 8080. So this is done. Okay. So it's already in use. It means like I'm already running somewhere here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect here. Okay. So let me clear this and now I'll try to hit it again. Okay. MLflow server and host. Let me clear this first. Let's do this some, uh, once again. MLflow server hyphen host 127.0.0.1 port 8080. So if you do this, so now it started working. So now let's go and see how it will look like here. Uh, 127.0. So we have our MLflow up and running. So we are able to see experiments and we have able to see the models. So this is the version 2.1.16.0. There are currently no models or no runs already present. So what we'll do now is we'll go here. So we are able to what right now we are able to what, get the ML flow up and running. Now only we have to create experiments and then we have to push our model to that particular uh, registry. So what I'll do is I'll go to this particular virtual environment and create a folder or yeah folder would be better experiments dot uh, folder. This is experiments folder under which I'll be creating a file, a random forest experiment. Okay. So here, what we'll do is we'll create a model first of all, and then we'll register it to the MLflow registry. So first let's get started ML, uh, from sklearn dot data sets import make a regression. Okay. From sklearn dot uh, metrics what you need is import dot msc means quite error from sklearn ensemble model import uh, random forest regressive from sklearn uh, then model selection import train split so once this is done we'll import ml flow and we'll import mlflow.sklearn on version or module. Then we'll include import from mlflow.models import info signature. So info signature is for what? 
uh, validating the format given by the input and output so it is used for that now we have uh, done with the packages now we have to ensure that it is connecting with a particular mlflow environment mlflow dot set uh, tracking experiment tracking uri i guess okay which is http slash localhost 8080 okay and then we have mlflow dot uh, set the experiment so this is my first experiment experiment one okay so this is done now comes the key part this is also key part that these two statements are really really important 10 and 11 right line number 10 and 11 these are very very important because this you won't find it in the official documentation you have to what uh, understand or you have to go to some other documentation to get this working okay so let's get started with mlflow experiments mlflow dot start run oh it should be yeah start run has run and then x comma y which is your data set you are taking make regression and then you are giving a uh, number of features you want which is four informative features that is two and then random state which is 42 and then shuffle you want to do no false so next next is x underscore train next is x underscore test y underscore train then y underscore test so we'll use train test split of x and y on top of x and y and then we'll get the test size as 0 0.2 and random state as 42 okay so this is done now what we'll do is we'll take the params which are required by the model which is for random forest we have max depth okay which is equal to i would give it as two that would be better because we just have four features we cannot go beyond that okay now we'll also pass a random state here as well which is 42 now we'll create a, a model function which is a model initializer which is random forest regressor and we'll pass the params so we are done with this now what we'll do is since model is initialized we can do a model dot fit on x underscore train and y underscore train so once this is done we'll be doing something called as edit uh, y thread is equal to model dot predict and then we'll get uh, on top of what you want to do y test so we'll get the y thread and then we have to uh, what i would suggest is uh, let us uh, first do something called as uh, calculate the msc we also have to infer the signature so we have to give uh, the signature uh, is equal to infer signature so we have to give uh, i guess this is for so test right so we have to pass x test so x text and y test in a sense okay this we have to look back right what we have to infer again so let me just uh infer signature let me see what it contains in model input so it can contain invalid input to the model subset of the training set okay so subset is with the x test we are giving and then infer a model signature from the training data and model prediction also we can give so i could give for x test and then i can give y print okay so this is fine now what we'll do is uh, we have to log the metrics params and then we have to log the model as well so uh, mlflow dot log uh, artifact um, first we'll do params okay param is equal to params we can give and then mlflow dot metrics for that we'll pass in uh, we have to pass the dictionary first of all so make sure that you are aware of that means void error then you have to give y pred y test then y pred so this will give us the means void error okay so once that is done we can uh, 
there comes the next part which is logging the model mlflow.sklearn.log model I guess this is not log model yeah this is the log model part so sk model is equal to model and then artifact path is equal to sklearn dot model which is the artifact path and then comes the uh, registered model name that you can give anything okay before that I think we have to pass uh, some more parameters let me check uh, one is artifact path sk model and then we have to uh, artifact path so let me check with official documentation right so where is the model here we have signature okay we have to pass the signature as well so we have taken the signature signature is equal to signature so with that okay let me just add here sklearn let me move it up sklearn model random forest okay so this is one so this will log the model, log the parameters, log the metrics. We are also logging the signature, we are logging the artifacts. So this will, what it will do is, uh, since we are taking sklearn model, we are using the sklearn module from mlflow to log the model. Okay. I hope this should work. Let me save this file, uh, go to this folder where this file is present that experiments. MLflow, it's not MLflow, it is MLOps, and then change to the experiments, python3 dot, uh, what is the file name, random forest, so, yep, it is did, but it did through an error, so, it created an experiment, I guess, yeah, it created an experiment, but it got an error, when we are doing, uh, check array, so, caught in 1D array okay so this is we have to reshape I guess right so if I just pull it up okay this is white test so it is giving white test while you're doing white test you are getting validated the x predict mm. then you are giving it as okay sorry 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 so the thing is you have to pass x testman ship so yeah you have to pass x test you will get y pred then you will compare the y pred with y test okay so yeah so that's the problem with that okay let me run this again the same experiment right so let me before that right let's see since i got an error for this let me go and see what we got in terms of ml flow here registry right did it register anything yeah, it did register experiment 1, but it failed. Let me see here. It failed. Okay, there is nothing to see. There is no parameters, no metric. There is no model metric, system metric, or artifacts. Okay, nothing is present. Let me go back here. So, let me clear this. Then Python 3. What is the file name? Random forest. Okay, let's see. Okay, it is again looking for one parameter which is missing okay let's see right what is the params block params it is not param okay let us pass this okay now let's run again okay before that let's clear the screen hmm. lazy loader is not callable okay where it is i guess here right okay uh, what is that lazy loader object is not callable okay one second one second so the thing is there is not something like mlflow.log matrix i guess what i'll do i'll copy this i'll paste it here I'll take this one off let's see if this works because it is not callable it is given so that's why Oh, let's see if this runs yep so finally we did it okay it has created a version one of the particular model so it is uh, the run name is awesome moves triple seven and the experiment is stored here 
okay let me go back here now uh, which is here i'll go to the experiment one because everything got executed under the same experiment which is experiment one okay so we tried totally four times we failed three times and at the fourth time at the awesome moves triple seven we finally got our model in model registry so here we have uh, our path which is registered model logged model and the parameters that we passed which is two and the random state was 42 what was the msc error 670 and what is the model matrix this is the 670 thing what we are seeing the graph system matrix we won't have anything the artifact this is the important part okay so what is the input you have you have four features your target is only one row one column okay this is your ml model the conda yaml the pickle file and python environment that you are using what is the packages required to run the experiment so everything is stored here let me go back here so if you want to validate the model before deployment you can do these kind of steps okay this is quite easy to understand so yep this is the first experiment let's what we do is let's go back now i want to change the parameters okay i don't want a max step to be uh, two i want it to be one now it can if i don't give change this experiment name okay which is experiment one right now if i don't change it it will go under experiment one but i want to create a new experiment now since i have changed the parameter okay so experiment two same uh, let me clear the screen again let me run the experiment oh, it created a new experiment it's not created a new experiment waiting a 49 seconds for model version to finish creation again an adaptable donkey 294 is the new experiment new run that got created let me go and check okay so here we are uh, let me run this again refresh it yep we have our second experiment oh man yeah second experiment adaptable monkey 294 so max depth is one in this case and the msc has increased from 670 to 1354 and again we have new artifacts stored for this specific experiment so we are able to track the experiments after changing the parameters and based on our experiment result okay you can in this case we'll take the experiment one which has lesser msc which is 670 so i think we have covered a lot of things in this video what i'll do is in the next ex uh, next video we'll go a little in depth in terms of uh, how to use this tool okay what we have dealt done now is we just install the package and we are able to run the mlflow server locally and we are able to track the experiments that we are creating okay so we'll see you in the next video and also would request you folks to what subscribe if you haven't thank you so much